，同志们、朋友们、女士们、先生们，大家好。冬至阳生，岁回绿转，在这辞旧迎新的美好时刻 ，Ladies and gentlemen, comrades and friends, in this golden season of autumn, we are gathered here to mark the 70th anniversary of the founding of the People's Republic of China. For the Chinese people of all ethnic groups and Chinese sons and daughters, at home and abroad, this is a joyful moment—a moment to celebrate the 70th birthday of our great People's Republic and to salute the epic progress of our motherland during the past seven decades. Over the past 70 years, under the strong leadership of the Communist Party of China. The Chinese people, with great courage and relentless exploration, have successfully opened the path of socialism with Chinese characteristics. Along this path, we have ushered in a new era, having caught up with the world in great strides. We are now marching forward at the forefront of the times, with boundless energy. Over the past 70 years. The Chinese people, with perseverance and strenuous efforts, have made development achievements that are the marvel of the world. Absolute poverty, which has haunted the Chinese nation for thousands of years, will soon become a thing of the past. This will be a great miracle in human history. Over the past 70 years, the Chinese people. Upholding an independent foreign policy of peace, have forged ahead along the path of peaceful development, guided by the five principles of peaceful coexistence. We have deepened friendship and cooperation with other countries, and made an important contribution to building a community with a shared future for mankind, and advancing the noble cause of peace and development for humanity. Seventy years are but a fleeting moment in human history, but for the Chinese people, for our nation, these have been seventy years of epoch-making changes. The Chinese nation has realized a tremendous transformation. It has stood up, grown rich, and is becoming stronger. It has come to embrace the brilliant prospects of national renewal. This phenomenal transformation brings infinite pride to every son and daughter of the Chinese nation. Here, on behalf of the CPC Central Committee and the State Council, I pay high tribute to the Chinese people, of all ethnic groups and all CPC members, to officers and men of the People's Liberation Army and members of the armed police, and to all the other political parties and personages. With no party affiliations in China, I wish to convey sincere greetings to fellow Chinese in the Hong Kong and Macau special administrative regions, in Taiwan, and residing abroad. I also wish to express heartfelt thanks to all the countries and international friends who have given support and help to the development of New China. Comrades and friends, unity is iron and steel. Unity is a source of strength. It is what has enabled the Chinese people and the Chinese nation to move forward against all risks and challenges, from one victory to another. In our new journey, we must hold high the banner of unity and rally closely round the CPC Central Committee. We must cement the great unity of all our ethnic groups and strengthen the great unity. Of all Chinese sons and daughters, at home and abroad, and of all political parties, organizations, ethnic groups, social strata, and fronts, we must maintain the close bond between the CPC and the people, and promote patriotism. Thus, we will create an unparalleled force that will power the ship of our national renewal to clip waves and reach. Its destination, comrades and friends. 
We will continue to fully and faithfully implement the principles of one country, two systems. Hong Kong people administering Hong Kong, Macau people administering Macau, and a high degree of autonomy. We will act in strict accordance with the Constitution and the basic laws. We are confident that with the full backing of the motherland and the concerted efforts of our fellow Chinese in Hong Kong and Macau, who love the motherland as well as their communities, Hong Kong and Macau will prosper and progress alongside the mainland and embrace an even brighter future. We will uphold the One China Principle and the 1992 Consensus, promote the peaceful development of relations across the Taiwan Strait, and deepen cross-strait economic and cultural exchanges and cooperation to the benefit of people on both sides. The complete reunification of the motherland is an inevitable trend. It is what the greater national interests entail and what all Chinese people aspire for. No one and no force can ever stop it. We will hold high the banner of peace, development, cooperation, and mutual benefit, and keep firmly to the path of peaceful development. We will stay committed to opening up and work with people in all countries to build a community with a shared future for mankind, and to create a world bathed in peace and development. Comrades and friends, the Chinese people are great people. The Chinese nation is a great nation and Chinese civilization is a great civilization. History will shed light on the future and our journey ahead will be a long one. We are convinced that the Chinese people and the Chinese nation with a proud civilization spanning over five millennia and great accomplishments during the past 70 year history of new China will write a more brilliant chapter in our new journey toward the realization of the two centenary goals and the Chinese dream of great national renewal. Now please join me in a toast to the 70th anniversary of the founding of the People's Republic of China, to the prosperity and strength of China and the happiness and well-being of the Chinese people of all ethnic groups, to the friendship and cooperation between the people of China and all other countries, and to the health of all the guests, comrades and friends present. Cheers. If you have suggestions for historical speeches or works you would like to see recreated, please leave a comment down below. I would like to take a moment to thank all of my patrons and YouTube members who fund this work. Gold, Ben, DJ, Aaron, Edward, Space Captain, Myron, Harrison, Musicata, Carlisle, Ali, Cece, Mount FGT, Cult of Beauty, Joshua, Paz, King Baldwin the First of Jerusalem, Shoshan the Elegant, Alberto, Jared, Owen, FX Hausa, Really Bad, Sarajevsky, Phoenix, Mike, JD, Rolfus, and Kid Vanderboos.